Hello, gorgeous soul. Before I begin, I just want to say that um, I'm doing daily Instagram stories of a daily tarot uh, video. So if you want to check it out, you can get a daily tarot video reading. Also, I'm very close to 100,000 YouTube followers. So if you're not following me, I would love it if you did. Anyway, back to the astrology. Neptune is retrograde this week, which is actually a good thing because it allows us to ground our dreams and bring our dreams into reality. Here's your weekly astrology. Aries, you gorgeous thing. This week, Neptune turns retrograde. You might find that there's some spooky coincidences from the past popping up. It may be that, that you're going to return to something and it feels like it's meant to be. You might bump into someone you've got a past life connection with or there are just sort of some spooky shenanigans going on. Really trust your instincts and trust your heart this week. With Mercury trying Jupiter on the same day, on the 19th, you can persuade anybody to do anything, particularly around situations to do with home and family. And the whole of this year, really, you're intent on coming into your power and there's some transformation coming to you and you've got the chance, actually, to make a bit of money. So, again, be sensible and be grounded, but be very persuasive at the beginning of the week. With Venus conjunct the North Node on the 20th, you could have a great time filling other people with love and good cheer. There's a big healing coming to your relationships and you're also eager to heal other people and give them love and uh, you're making people laugh this week which is always good and laughter is the best medicine as we know uh, with mercury trying neptune you're very intuitive when it comes to issues to do with home and families and your your intuition is really peaking this week so trust it the sun is shifting and going into cancer and in fact the whole energy that you're moving towards is about healing repairing transforming but also, fingers crossed, having a bit of luck when it comes to your home environment and the people that you call your soul family. Okay, the only fly in the ointment is when Venus opposes your ruler Mars on the 21st. You may feel that you're not getting through to people. You may feel sort of full of passion, but your passion is not being understood in some way. And there could be a lot of frustration around the 21st. Don't worry about it. This too shall pass. That's not going to be an ongoing thing. And generally, you're feeling quite optimistic and, and, and loved up at the moment. So if there is any battles, you know, just put it to one side. The sun sextile Uranus, lots of surprises coming our way on the 23rd. Um, so just, you know, roll with the moves. Whatever's going to happen, you know, you're, you're one of the most spontaneous signs. So you'll probably enjoy some of the surprises at the end of the week. Try to avoid a power struggle on the 23rd, though, as Mercury opposes Pluto. You may feel that someone's trying to bully you. Have they met you? I would uh, suggest that they don't bother. <laughs> but be careful how you react, because it could be that you're just hypersensitive on that day. Anyway, gorgeous, you take care, and I'll speak to you very soon. And don't forget, come and check me out on Instagram for your daily uh, readings. All right, bye. <laughs> Hello, wonderful one. Thank you so much for listening. It would be fabulous if you liked, subscribed or shared. It would be really, really helpful. Also, I have a ton of free stuff for you. 
horoscope.co.uk for everything astrology and michellenight.com for everything psychic and free tarot reading. See you there.